also fans are coming out and reacting towards gaps shocking lawsuit against kanye yet it's almost eight months after kanye ended his partnership with the company is this their way to disorganize his upcoming yeezy relaunch or they are using this as an opportunity to seek some kind of attention because they totally flopped after kanye ending things with them if i look at the ongoing situation of course there is a certain lawsuit directed towards kanye and if we look at such a brand coming out with such a lawsuit of course is going to be creating a lot of questions because right now kanye is coming out and focusing on a lot of things and among them is coming out with a mega lodge when it comes to his yeezy brand and secondly this is the kind of company that used to work with kanye but at a certain point he came out and ended their partnership he came out and decided to stand alone and if i look at one of the reasons as to why kanye separated with this company he always he has always been very very open about all the dis about all the disorganizations and at a certain point he was like you know what they really didn't respect me as a person as a designer i was not appreciated enough so i was like you know what i'm going to be ending things and i'm going to be focusing on my yeezy brand well they are coming with a certain lawsuit and if i look at everything if i analyze the details my dear this is not kanye's concern at all because right now there is no any involvement when it comes to girls and of course Kanye. I'm going to be giving you all the details so that you can also decide for yourself and you can understand what exactly is going on. If you haven't joined us, please subscribe on our channel. We really appreciate each one that takes their time to listen to us every day. You are the best and we appreciate all your efforts. So with everything going on and all the preparations for Yeezy, we really expected some kind of diversions, mostly from Kanye's ex-partners and seems Gap is indeed not at ease. Seeing Kanye preparing to get back to the fashion world, reports indicate that Kanye is being sued for $2 million and according to the documents obtained and circulating on social media, Gap wants Kanye to be held financially responsible for any damages they have to pay in a lawsuit they are facing from Art City Center, a company that owns a building in Los Angeles that they leased as a storefront for the Yeezy collection while they were still working with Kanye. Art City Center urges that the building underwent various unapproved alterations during 2021 and 2022 and so they are suing Gap over the costs to restore the premises but the company wants Kanye instead to pay all the money and be fully accountable. If I look at the situation of course if I look at the situation, of course, at City Center is coming out and they're like, you know what, you know what, Gap, you once purchased a store on our building. And if I look at what really happened, of course, they conducted a certain Yeezy collection when Kanye was still working with them. And right now they are being forwarded all these lawsuits. They are being they are being held accountable for all the responsibilities because that was the time when they were still working with Kanye. So they are instead coming out and they're like, you know what? Everything is going to be directed towards Yeze. Everything is going to be directed towards Kanye, even though we are not still working together, even though we ended our partnership, that is not our concern. But if you were on everything that is really going on, if you ask me, I would tell you that was then. And if they are coming out and they are if they are coming out and asking them that huge amount of money, of course, Kanye is totally off from all that. If at all he was still working with Gap, maybe he would be held accountable. But right now, Yeezy is no longer operating. Kanye is just sitting down and strategizing on a lot of things so that his Yeezy can come back to life. And right now, they are seeking this huge amount of money. This is totally insane, if you ask me. According to the... According to the lawsuit they forwarded kanye gap claims the contract they had with kanye called for them not to be held accountable for such claims and so they are seeking two million dollars in damages which they think and other legal costs but again taking you back in time kanye ended his tenure 
partnership with GAP last September after accusing them of not fulfilling the proper terms of their agreement. And in addition, he also accused them of ripping off his ideas for their own designs, which was not what they had agreed on in the beginning. Later on, Kanye opened up about his failed partnership with GAP during a CNBC appearance saying, everyone knows that I'm the leader. A king can't live in someone else's castle. A king has to make his own castle. And right now, fans are coming out and expressing their discontent towards GAP. Many of them wondering why such a brand is suing Kanye just because they sued them, yet he made people wear GAP when yet Kanye made people wear a gap when no one was wearing or thinking about the brand. Since they are no longer working together, that lawsuit is their responsibility. And at least they would have acknowledged the time they spent working with Kanye plus all the benefits and wrote the case on their own. But bringing it to social media is also something that has raised a lot of questions. This is also my point because I'm sitting down and I'm like, you know what? If I look at the site that broke each and everything this is one of the blogs that is really influenced by the kardashians they came out and you know wanted to everyone to know about each and everything and everyone is sitting down and they're like you know what this is totally off because if we look at the partnership kanye had with gap my dear like adidas of course kanye gave a lot of exposure to this brand they really understood exactly what was going on a lot of people used to put on all their products and everything just because Kanye was working with them. Okay, maybe things failed and of course they are no longer working together. But again, bringing out everything on social media so that you can so that you can claim that Kanye is in wrong and of course you are asking that huge amount of money and of course you are waiting for him to come out and react and use that against him, my dear. That is also something to question about if you ask me. And of course, for all those changes, they are suing them for how come they were fine with it when Kanye was still part of them and now that the tables have diverted and he's planning to stand alone and focus on his company they are finding all possible ways to tarnish his name they thought Kanye was joking when he told them he was the creator they didn't honor his designs and always wanted to misuse his creatives they should sit down and find ways on how to settle that lawsuit other than pinning it on Kanye this is also something very very important because when they were still working together of course they really analyzed the situation and they were very very okay with all the decisions concerning Yeezy because right then of course it was benefiting them we automatically know that and right now that maybe they made a certain mistake which they had agreed on at first they are coming out and pretending to be putting everything on Kanye my dear this is the kind of man who has always been coming out and being discounted about his partnership with Gap. Kanye has always been coming out and he's like, you know what? Those people used to steal my designs. They used those people used to steal my designs on a lot of occasions. They used to help, they used to carry out meetings so that they can discuss about me. Yes, I was not part of it all. And what does that mean? Time reached and they would really sat down and were like, you know what? We are going to be starting benefiting from all the designs of Kanye without him getting a certain percentage. And this is how they really, this is how they used to come out and misuse his name. So if I see and analyze the situation everyone is right to be coming out at gap and what i clearly know is that gap is among these companies that are looking for a comeback and they are using this lawsuit to gain some bit of exposure who even who even still talks about them after Kanye left like even still purchases their products I don't think there is anyone and all these brands will have to learn the hard way that Kanye was their savior and he was doing a great job they are now following up each and every move he's making and that's why they want to divert the public but coming out with such lawsuits instead of directing instead of taking up the responsibility that is totally off if you ask me what do you even think about their actions what do you even think about gap coming out and they're like you know what we are seeking two million dollars from kanye for everything that is being directed to us because they are coming out with such excuses don't forget to follow us if you haven't